Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is what is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy and when should you use shallow copy and when you should go for deep copy or the question could be when you should rely on compiler generated copy constructor or copy assignment operator or when you should create your own copy constructor and copy assignment operator okay so we'll try to answer all those questions here so this is the base class it is having one pointer and another one is simple variable integer variable and this is a uh, default constructor and this is where the deep copy is happening here okay so i am copying this rhs value into the left side object this is the left side object here so i am copying that so so this is the example of deep copy here okay so we'll see how these things are working so first of all and yeah these are the setters and getters of this pointer and value so First, what I will do, I will create a base object b1 and, and I will set some value 10 here to the pointer and 15 to the value. Okay. So this pointer will get 10 and this value will get 15 here. Okay. And now our b1 is ready with pointer assigned with 10 value and value assigned with 15. Okay. So now we will assign this b1 to this b2. Okay. So here comes the deep copy concept. Okay, after assigning, I am changing the B2's pointer with value 50. So B1's pointer should have 10 value and B2's pointer should have 50 value. So we'll go and compile and we'll check with this print statement. So we'll compile and we'll check. So that B1 is having 10 and B2 is having 15. Okay, value is not changed. So value will be 15 and 15 at both location. So till now we are clear, but let's suppose I have not given this copy constructor then also this program will work will co compile successfully and will run it that is giving you this output so if you notice here you have changed this b2's pointer value with 50 but it changed b1's pointer also with the value 50 before it was not there but now compiler generated copy constructor is doing like this or you can say just because of the compiler generated copy constructor this is happening so this is something which you didn't want you wanted b1 pointer to have 10 value and b2's pointer to have 50 value but you changed b2 pointer which which ultimately changed the b1's pointer that you didn't want it okay so how to overcome that problem you need to implement your own constructor okay so which is doing the deep copy and what do i mean by deep copy deep copy is nothing but you create a new pointer okay so this statement is creating a new pointer and you are setting the value of that pointer with the value of your rhs value okay and this is very simple so no need to explain this one so this is where the deep copy is coming you are creating a new pointer and what compiler generated copy constructor is doing that compiler generated copy constructor is doing something like this let's suppose b1 dot value is 10 so we are setting 10 here so that value is 10 and b2 dot pointer is equal to 1000 sorry 2000 that 2000 is nothing but the address this pointer variable is pointing and if you will use this dereferencing operator which is nothing but responsible for giving you the value at that address okay so 2000 is holding 15 as value till this line okay till this line this is your code or we can say this is the value now you didn't use this deep copy constructor you rely on shallow copy so compiler will do like this this is the example of shallow copy compiler will simply copy the pointer of b1 into the pointer of b2 so b1 is having 2000 as its pointer value and that 2000 was assigned to the b2's ptr now these b2 and b1 both are sharing the same memory location and if you will change one value then other will get the same value okay so that's why it is happening and why it is a problem the problem is let's say somewhere this b2 you deleted like if let's suppose you created this b2 dynamically and you deleted that b2 or b2 goes out of scope or something maybe you created b2 like this okay let's suppose you created b2 in this scope okay so this is another scope okay b2 is created in this scope so this scope will get enter b2 will get created b2 will get set here and when you are coming out of this scope b2 will get deallocated 
and let's suppose you have created a destructor and there you are de deallocating the memory what you created here okay so what you will do you will deallocate the memory what is this 2000 but this 2000 is pointed by b1 also but that b1 will still be alive out out of this scope okay so there comes the dangling problem okay you don't have the pointer but still you are pointing to that address okay and that is undefined behavior so that's it guys thanks for watching bye bye